Yeah, and, and right now you don't even realize that you're in my film right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're gonna make a film right now, right here. Get it out there. <laughs> Congratulations on this. This is the sequel to your hit movie, but this time you're not only acting in it and you wrote it, but you're directing it. Just being here, it, to me, is like, I feel like a winner. Yeah, and directing, why? Because, um, you know, I write in imagery. Everything is what you see on paper is what you see on the screen. And I'm thinking, well, I can actually do this. Plus, I've been an actor my entire, you know, life. So it sort of, it works out. Pero hay cosas del pasado que te persiguen. Look, I've been looking for you. I want you to do a little job for me. When your film came out, part of the Toronto International Film Festival, a decade ago, it was the first Dominican Republic film that, you know, what was in the festival. I mean, how did you feel about that? I'm getting goosebumps just saying it. <laughs> No, no, thank you. No, that, that, thank you for saying that. That really was a big deal in my career in the film industry of the Dominican Republic because it was shot there and it was the first Dominican film to come to such a big film festival. After that, they actually opened up a, a film commission in the DR. Yeah. Uh, and, and now they're just doing about 10 to 15 films a year. Wow. Which is a big deal, you know? Huge, so, huge. Mia, me encontraron. So let's talk about your, your character trying to kind of get away from the world he was a part of and being dragged back in. Maybe share with the folks at home a little bit about your character in this movie. Got you. Well, yeah, my character is, a, is a, a, an ex-sicario who was deported from the Dominican Republic, let's say. From there, he found the smallest city town in America, which is Pawtucket, Rhode Island. And he moved there trying to hide from his past. For 10 years, he's been hiding. But his past has caught up to him. Alias La Soga. It's an honor. Hey, listen, I want to, before I ask you the next question, do you know why I'm wearing a hat? Uh, no, why? Besides it. I know, besides it's you're promoting, <laughs> you're promoting the show. <laughs> Because like you, I wear a lot of different hats. Oh, there you go. Um, so I'm very supportive of, you know, creators like yourself that have to wear a lot of different hats. I have like, you know, I have, oh, I have, a, I have a navy blue one too. Oh, nice. Want one of these? Oh, want one of these too? <laughs> Lots of hats. What is one of the things that you do to manage that? Does it excite you? Does anything scare you? Good question. You know, the reason why I sort of started wearing different hats is because I was sick of playing your stereotypical Latino that Hollywood portrays. So I'm gonna start writing my own story where they see me in a different light. After I did that, I'm like, well, I also wanna produce these things that I wrote. I can't believe one guy is running circles around all of them. I, I, I'm sweating at the amount of hats you're wearing, my friend. I, I, need, I need this hat to fan off the amount of hats you're wearing. That's all. No, thank you. <laughs> but the good thing is, you know, I surround myself with good friends and, uh, and that really matters, making sure you're surrounded by the right people. Look, I'm gonna put another hat that you gotta wear, all right? Okay. It's, it's gonna be mine. <laughs> yeah, good. I will wear it. That would be amazing. We're gonna start promoting. How about we say La Soga? with Manny and, uh, oh, Melissa DeMarco. Maybe somehow I'll make an appearance. Okay. <laughs> that would be great. I'll be in the background like this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that would be great. We have a lot of things in common. How are you? We pay for killing. I'm not doing that. All right, check out La Soga 2 at this year's Toronto International Film Festival. Manny Perez is awesome. You know what? I do wear a lot of hats, but I figure I am going to share some of these hats with you guys out there. You can win a cool out there baseball cap and a bunch of other swag thanks to our promotional partner, Comda.com. All you have to do is follow the instructions in this post. Good luck, everybody, and stick around. We've got a lot more great festival coverage because you know we are out there. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Got mugs too, but I'll get you one without my lipstick. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media at Melissa DeMarco 
for more exclusive content with your favorite celebs. I'll see you guys out there.